Okay. Now that I have done my base makeup, let the BB cream set on my skin for a while. Till that time, first I will prepare the brow with brow pencil. This is actually it's all faded. This is Rimmel's brow pencil. If anybody would be willing, I'll let you know the number. It's hazelnut. 002 hazelnut. Can you see? Yeah, it's shining. To prepare your brow, first you need to outline your brow. After that, Fill in the gaps in between. Okay, after I have completed my brows, you can see both of them. I'm using a light shaded brow pencil. This is hazelnut. Because my brows are very light, if I'll use a dark, very dark brown or a black pencil, it will look very odd. You should choose pencil according to your brow structure. That will help you to look natural. Okay, after that, let's begin with the basic eye makeup. To first, you should outline... your brow with a pencil concealer this will help to give a sharpen look to your brows cleaned sharpen look see I don't know whether you can see the difference or not but it does bring some good difference this is Pax Concealer, shade number L, Pack Concealer. The shade is L12. This shade suits me. It's very good concealer pencil when it comes to spot correcting. If you have some dark spots, particular spots of pimple mark or a cut, this is the best. But the color you have to choose according to your skin okay after that now let's begin this is a blending brush large blending brush when we begin our makeup the first thing that we do is we choose a transition color can you see this is light brown tra transition color a shade two shades darker to me transition color should be one or two shades darker to your skin tone always Tap the excess and begin with your outer corner in circular motion and then blend it to and fro, wiper motion to and fro. Can you see a very slight color has started? above my crease coming above my crease now i want to build a little more since i have since i have chosen dark eyeshadow that's blue eyeshadow makeup that's why i am developing my transition color had it been a lighter shade i would have stopped with a single color payoff okay now you see there is the difference between these two i'm doing one eye so that you can see difference between each step after 
the transition color this is can you see this is a tapered brush used to give a cut on your crease just below your transition shade you'll start with the shades on your lids first begin with a lighter shade this is nelf blue shade of nelf so with a flat brush with a flat brush i am taking this blue shade and applying it on my lids remember that the lighter would be in the inner corner and as you move towards your outer v your shade will be darker basically we are giving a gradient effect for gradient effect this is a dark color dark blue can you see cobalt blue it's almost cobalt blue Bl bluish black in shade from miss claire miss claire's baked eyeshadows are amazing i mean they are so underestimated i don't know why but they are really amazing to pay off a perfect color i have changed my brush from tapered one to a little small fluffy brush since i need to apply now we need a fluffy brush clean fluffy brush to blend out everything you need everything should melt together you don't need a difference to be seen but once you blend the colors actually come out a little so what you need to do you need to apply a little more simple and most of the shade have been applied now to give a popping effect to your eyes what we do we apply lightest shade either in golden or in silver can you see this is silver gray color with the tip of your finger you just dab it in the center and there you go now the last portion of applying shadow is take a very small pencil brush and a golden or a white eye shadow and at the tip
you apply eyeshadow same with the help of same brush you can apply it see there are a lot more brushes in the market for each and every work but since we belong to middle class families housewives we don't have so much of time energy and money to invest in so many equipments unless and until we are professionals isn't it so the upper lid work has been completed now the work starts with your lower lid before applying anything on it let's apply kajal first kajal is not a compulsory aspect you can or you cannot you can skip it if you want a skipped version i can show you that just write in the comments below that you want i make up without any kajal okay i have smudged a little you should always tight line your eyes see the difference between this eye and this eye can you see this eye is looking quite big popping out and this one is very small now that we have applied our eye shadow part is left our kajal is over now eye shadow the same light brown that we used for our gradient effect we'll first use we'll take a very small very small tapered brush and smudge a little this will give continuity to your upper lid arc art and it will help you to prevent your kajal from smudging also it will give a little smoky effect now one more thing we can do you can leave it like this or you can take your dark cobalt blue eyeshadow and give it a continuity with the upper eyelid there you go so this eyeshadow part is complete now we'll do the liner liner you can use any any blue color liner black color liner that's all depending on your choice but here i am using a blue eyeliner now i'm using again get big lashes from essence this one is marvelous i tell you guys you can wear it and even go for swimming trust me it is not coming out it won't smudge even a little best part it is buildable it is really buildable a second coat will
don't even need you won't even need a falsies for this okay now i'll return with the other eye makeup on and then we will continue with the rest of the makeup so here is the complete look you can see my eyes i have used a nude lip color because eyes are bold and if you want a full face tutorial do let me know how did you like this makeup tutorial very simple one only the eye one is glam rest everything is everyday look i hope you liked this look do let me know bye bye